Young lady, these are the Somerset Group's transfer materials. See, they'll be effective after the assignment. Young lady, there's one more thing you need to do before you take over Somerset Group. What is it? Somerset Group has a part in the Mason Decoration owes our company $20 million. They never pay us. Peter Jerkins, the owner of Mason Decoration, is a scoundrel. Young lady, you have to take back this amount of money he owed in order to take over Somerset Group. This is that woman's idea, isn't it? Young lady, since the late Mrs. Bell left, but Mr. Bell's health is not in condition. That woman has taken care of from the Bell's business. Young lady, before you take over the Bell's business, we'd better not fat her head up. I understand. Uncle Frank, do you have any info about Peter Jerkins? Young lady. Didn't I tell you to leave me alone if I don't contact you? It's too dangerous for you to go to me and no. I have to get money back on my own. I can't use any identity related to the belts. Are you following me to make me break the rules? No. Then don't follow me. I don't care if you're that old man's person or that woman's person. I don't need it. Young lady, the person has arrived at the VIP room. Young lady, how about I accompany you inside? That person doesn't seem like a good person. Where's James? James knew you were coming. He's been waiting for you in the office. Let him monitor in the surveillance room and call me immediately if there's any problem. Oh yeah, remember not to reveal my identity. Yes, yeah. Mr. Jerkins, Hayden invited you, but how dare she make you wait? Why don't we just leave her alone? There's a lot of pretty girls in this Imperial Ventures. Maybe we can... Ha ha ha. Damn it. What the fuck is wrong with you? I want to sleep with Hayden today. Don't mess it up. Alright, alright. Don't worry, Mr. Jerkins. Everything will be arranged properly. Oh, you're here. Sorry for being late, Mr. Jerkins. Oh, Miss Bell, it's my pleasure to wait for you. Ha ha ha. Come over, have a seat here. Let me toast to you, Miss Bell. I'm late, Mr. Jerkins. I'll drink to that. Miss Bell, Miss Jerkins has been waiting for a while. One drink might not cut it. It should be at least three. Mr. Jerkins, the reason I came today... ...is to get some help from you. For some important matters. Let's settle the matter first and drink afterwards. Miss Bell, Miss Jerkins is very busy with his daily affairs. It's a great favor for him to spare some time for you. Please don't be ungrateful. Mr. Jerkins, I'm here today because I genuinely want to collaborate with you. I'll finish up the bottle. Miss Bell, a little drinking adds to the fun, but it's not fun. When it's too much. Thanks, Mr. Jerkins. Just tell me, what do you need from me? The collaboration of our Somerset group with Mr. Jerkins has always been delightful. I've noticed that Mason Decoration's business is flourishing. I think you are having a robust cash flow. Would it be possible for you to settle the payment of $20 million for Somerset group first? So, you are here to ask for money. As what I recall, hasn't Miss Bell just divorced Mr. Clark? He didn't pay you alimony, so you went to work as the known factor for some sort of group? Mr. Jurgens, could you please sign it for me? So I can wrap this up smoothly. 
How can such a beautiful girl be burdened by life? How about you become my partner? Ha <laughs> ha. Then I'll agree. Twenty million feet. Mr. Jerkins, please behave yourself. Damn it! You've crossed the line. You are just a deserted. How dare you show me disrespect? I will show you my power today. Stop it! James, why are you here? Are you all right, young lady? I'm daring to cause trouble on my turf by all terror of living. Hold them for me, James. I'm your VIP. Which hand did you touch her with? Let's talk. Let's talk. I asked, which hand did you touch her with, James? You like this woman? I'll give her to you. You don't have to offend me. Really? Take a good look with both your eyes. She's my boss, James. Are you getting duped by this girl? She's trash. She got kicked out of the clerks. She doesn't have any money or connections. How could she be your boss? I don't need someone like you, a piece of trash, telling me who I should make my boss. Please spare me. I've been talking to you for half a day, and you still can't tell which hand did it. You won't talk, huh? Okay, then I'll chop off both. James, Miss Bell, please spare me. You have the nerve. Come to our place for the trouble. That's enough. Just scared him a little. I still have business to discuss with Mister Jerkins. Miss Bell, I have made a mistake. Please forgive me. All right, it's settled then. I'll pay you tomorrow. No, settle now. Hey, immediately transfer twenty million to Somerset Group's account. Yes, right away. I'm the boss, or you are. Hurry up. It's already transferred. All right, get lost. Okay. Wait. Is there anything else? I don't want anyone to know about what happened today. Yes, I understand. I'll keep my mouth shut. Good. Thanks. Sorry, boss. I'm late. It's okay. You're just in time. I should be thanking you. But boss, look. From now on, don't call me boss. Just call me Hayden. And we're partners, friends. Boss, I. Ah,、uh, Hayden. Also, you need to change your attitude. It's a lawful society now. Imperial Venture is running a legitimate business. Don't use violence to solve problems. Peace is what brings prosperity. All right, boss. Got it, boss. Young lady, it's getting late. Let James take you home. No, I'll go on my own. But no buts. This is James' territory. Who dares to mess with me? Besides, I don't want anyone to know about my connections to this place. Maybe it'll be my trump card in the future. Young lady, you're going to do great things. James and I will do our best to run Imperial Venture and be your most loyal supporters. What tricks did that girl use to actually come back from Peter's with the money owed without a single scratch? Mom, isn't it a good thing she got back the money? Why are you so upset? What do you know? You're such a loser. If you continue to act this way, the Bell's wealth will be taken away by an outsider. Isn't it just a Somerset group? She can take it if she wants. The Bell's corporation is so big; it will all come back to me, as I'm the son. You. Why did I give birth to such a loser? Get lost! Don't be an eyesore here. 
No way. I can't let Hayden come back to the bells. That is... Mom! Young lady, are you all right? Young lady. Hot. Thank God. Morning, come and have breakfast. Last night, did we... You were just drunk last night. I carried you back home. Thank you. If there's nothing else, you should go for now. Young lady, I'm your bodyguard. My job is to protect your safety clothes. I don't need a bodyguard. Young lady, you are my boss. I will never betray you. Don't you worry about that. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Do you know where this place is? It's Somerset. This is a place you should be at. I have an appointment here. Don't block my way. You are crazy, you poor looking person. How can you have an appointment in our cemetery? You are not allowed to go in. Leave, I will not treat you kindly. As a security guard, your job is to make sure the safety of the people and money in this building. Who taught you to be so arrogant and judge a book by its cover? How dare you slap me? Don't think I won't touch you just because you are a woman. Isn't this Hayden? <laughs> Miss Becker, is she your friend? It's just a misunderstanding. We're just acquaintance. What happened? Why are you talking so loudly here in Somerset Grove? How inappropriate. She looks so poor that she wants to barge in. She even slapped me. Hayden, you're the one at the wrong. So you don't have a job anymore. You can't be here to beg for food, right? I told you, I have an appointment here. <laughs> Do you know where you are at? How could you know anyone here? Are you worth it? This isn't the market for housewives like you to come in whenever you like. Hello, Mr. Lempart. Can you come take me up? You know Mr. Lempart? Do you know Mr. Lempart's position here? You know him? Next time, do some research before you lie. Miss Beck, I knew this stupid room. I'll throw her out immediately. I just signed a contract with Somerset Group. I'm quite tired, so I'll leave now. Take care of her. Our people can get here without a reason. You are right, Miss Beck. Safe journey. Watch me teach you a lesson today. Fuck you, Shu. How dare you hit me? Stop it. What are you doing? Mr. Lampard, why are you here? You are here, Miss Bell. Come on in. Miss Bell? Mr. Lampard, just now Miss Becker said she is an orphan. How dare you? How dare you leave Somerset School actual boss outside? You've got some nerve. Miss Bell, I'm sorry. I was blinded. I should have known better. Please forgive me this time. Miss Bell, how are you going to settle this? Fire him. Don't ever hire him for the Bells and any company that working with the Bells in the future. Miss Bell, please forgive me this time. Look, Miss Bell, this is your temporary office. You can move into your office at the highest floor after the inauguration ceremony. My office will be right next to yours. You can call me if you need anything. Stop the cooperation with the Beckers right now. Also, send me documents of the clerks and the Beckers in detail is better. Okay. Is there anything else? Miss Bell, Mr. Bell, let you go to a sky restaurant for dinner at 6 p.m. Okay, noted. You should leave first. 
I thought you said that the cooperation with Somerset Group was settled. Then what is this? I just signed a contract with them this morning. Then they sent us termination letter in the afternoon. There must be problem somewhere in the middle. I've asked someone to check it out. They said the new chairperson of Somerset Group cancelled all cooperation. It's their new chairperson's inauguration ceremony a few days later. I've already got the invitation letter. We'll go there together and get the deal. For real? Hey, when have I ever lied to you? Mrs. Bell, I don't mind that Hayden is divorced. When I marry Hayden, I will treat her well. Andrew, I've known you since you were a child. I trust your character. Otherwise, I wouldn't trust you enough to let you take care of Haiti. Mrs. Bell, we are one family. That's what I should do. From now on, you are my mom. When I marry Hayden, I'll be good to you. Great! Later when Haiti comes, you'd better behave well. Sure. Hey, Hades here. Where's that? Well, oh, Mr. Bell is not well. He let me take his place. Let's sit down. Haiti. I'll introduce him to you. This is Andrew Poole. Both of you met when you were kids. The Pools is known as the top aquatic product in the city. Andrew is also a newcomer to finance. Mr. Bell and I think both of you are a good match. Hattie, no time no see. Andrew Poole, the famous playboy of Presley. I have heard about you. Hey, Hattie, that's just rumors. Andrew is recognized by both me and your father. You are not getting any younger. A woman should not only focus on career, but also a family. And Mary, I've just been divorced for less than a month. You're in such a hurry to marry me off to such a playboy. You're such a good stepmother. Hadi, how can you say that to me? Even though you're not my daughter, I treat you like my own daughter. Since you were kicked out of the Clarks, I didn't eat or sleep well. I've been busy with your marriage. I've searched all the powerful men in Presley. How come you think I'm harming you? Hey, Hattie, Mrs. Bell really cares for me. That's enough. I don't have time for this drama. If you like him so much, you marry him. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? How dare you make fun of elders? This marriage was decided by your father. If you walk out of this door today, you'll lose the Somerset group. Don't use my father on me. I won't take it. I'm so sorry. Hayden has been away for years. Just used to being free. Hey, Mrs. Bell. That's okay. Hattie is pretty uncapable. It's normal for her to have a little temper. What about the marriage? Mrs. Bell, I won't give up on Hattie. I will keep after her and get you a grandson soon. Great! If you marry Hattie, the fortune investment company under the Bell's group will be her dowry. Thank you, Mrs. Bell. Great! In order to get the Bell's investment company, I must find a way to get Hayden Bell. Hayden Bell? When you marry Andrew Paul, you'll suffer a lot from your family life. Let's see how you can compete with my son. In fact, the marriage was my idea. You are not young anymore. It's a relief to have a family to support you. If I don't get married, Will you now let me take over some sick girl? Actually, this marriage is a kind of business. You are just a woman, but working so hard in business. When you have a man to back you up, Somerset Group's board of directors will be more likely to accept you. Don't worry, father. I'm engaged to someone. What? Who is he? Alvin Waters, the bodyguard you assigned to me. Damn it. You are Brooke Bell's daughter. He's just a bodyguard. He's no match for you. 
any son of a rich family would be better than him. At least he can protect. Since I've become the chairman of some group, I'm capable of stabilizing it. <laughs> Father, you'd better rest. Why did I say he was Elvin Waters? So if father asks, it's all the mess. Hayden Bell, why are you so stupid? What are you doing? I'll teach you a lesson. From now on, keep a low profile. Are you Lucas? I don't know anyone named Lucas. I don't like you, so I want to teach you a lesson. Other an idiot like you, who else dares to kidnap me in front of the Bell's house? That's me. So what if I kidnap you? Why do you make my mom so angry every day? How dare you come back to fight with me for the family assets? Do you think I'm a fool to be bullied? Why did you tie me up here? Tell me what you want. I'm busy. Hidden Bell, I've already tied you up. How could you still be so cocky? Behave yourself or I will beat you up. Yeah, just come over. Teach her a lesson. Don't hit her too hard. Just a small lesson for her. Hey, brother. This girl's pretty good, right? Why don't we have a good time? I'm the one who pays you. You have to listen to me about what to do. I didn't see very well in the dark. Now take a closer look. She's really a beautiful girl. Get this fool out of here. After I'm satisfied, then it's your turn. Let go of me. I'm the Bell's daughter. You can't mess with me. I warn you, you have to listen to me, or else I won't pay the balance. Get out of here. Stop messing with me. Hey, girl. Get out of the way. Boss, are you alright? We, the Bell's members, are not to be insulted by punks like you. Damn it. Beat him to death. After I'm satisfied, I'll fix you. Drag him out first. Let go of me! I'm the Bell's eldest daughter. Run! Idiot! Get help! Finish him off. I won't. No one can bully you. Only I can bully you. This bread is quite tough. This bread is quite tough. Hey girl, let's see who's going to save you now. Let go of me! Run! Miss Bell, are you alright? I'll take you home. Get the Bell's man and send him back. Okay. That's me. So what if I kidnap you? Why do you make my mom so angry every day? How dare you come back to fight with me for the family assets? Do you think I'm a fool to be bullied? Such a bastard. Not enough that you don't learn anything. You even dare to harm your own sister. Someone's here. Beat him up. Darling, Lucas is still so young. He's been hurt so badly. If you beat him again, he won't be able to take it. 